The Great White Way, a little dimmer as more and more shows are taking their final bow this month. All right, Fox 5's Linda Schmidt has more on what's in store for Broadway. Well, tourism here in the city is not back to pre-pandemic levels. As a result, experts say Broadway is continuing to take a hit. Yeah, I love Broadway. Yeah. yeah. But do you see a show every time you come in? Not every time. These three young ladies are visiting from Philadelphia. The Lion King. That's what you want to see? Yeah. But you're not seeing it this time around? No, I'm not seeing it this time around. The tourist audience is not back in a big way, in the way that Broadway had hoped. Michael Riedel is a theater critic at 710 WOR Radio. I do believe Broadway should be worried. Ten Broadway shows are closing this month, including Beetlejuice, Almost Famous, Death of a Salesman, and 1776. Riedel says Broadway depends on international tourism. Missing from New York, indeed, is the Chinese audience. The Chinese foreign tourist audience they, after the Europeans, were the number one tourist component before the pandemic. Adam Feldman is a theater editor and critic with Time Out New York. He says although tourist-driven industries like Broadway have been slower to rebound, it is standard for about 10 shows to close every January. It is to make room for new shows opening in the spring. In January of 2020, which was before the pandemic, a very successful year on Broadway, there were 11 shows that closed in January. The Music Man with Hugh Jackman is also closing this month. It is an enormous financial success, but it does fall into a category of its own, featuring a megastar who wants to move on to other projects. So the musical is saying goodbye. Let's just quit while we're ahead and not try to replace Hugh Jackman with someone who might be less of a draw. Now we wait for the spring shows to open. On Broadway, Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News.